In this video, I'll walk through how you can find some really nice YouTube niches using Keyword Researcher Pro app. This tool is normally used by bloggers to find things to blog about. It's really good at finding long tail keywords. You can also find YouTube keywords. So let's have a look at how you can do this. So the first thing you have to do, click on YouTube here and it will give you this panel here so what you want to do I found it's really good is to paste in some adjectives so shockingly vintage mysterious and then if you put a star after it it will find any keywords that start with shockingly and then it'll go through the alphabet to find shockingly a b c d and so on so we'll put in stars for these mysterious at the worst uh, this one's a bit different. Um, I haven't done reaction videos before, but I think they could be really good. Um, they're very popular. Uh, I don't know if we want the strangest or just strangest, uh, prettiest, ugliest. Well, we'll see what we can find for these. It's not guaranteed that all of these adjectives will work. Um, I'm trying to think of some other ones I've used. Um, uh, worst stuff. Um, have I got worse there? Uh, the worst has worked very well for me in the past. So once you've got your list, uh, it's best to do like four or five at a go. And let's click on here and see what we get. So you see, it's going through the alphabet, shockingly, E, F, evil, shockingly evil, shockingly healthy, uh, shockingly hilarious. So it seems to be finding quite a lot of things and rather more than I thought. Okay, so I'll go and leave that running, have a cup of tea and we'll have a look and see what's happened once it's finished. Okay, so good things come to those who wait and we now have a list of 3,664 long tail keywords out of this tool all related to our initial seed adjectives so what i do on this is to click move all and all of the keywords go into the project keyword grid okay here they are so we can have a look at them uh, one tip i've got actually if you press ctrl and a and then ctrl and c you can copy them into another program. Uh, I normally uh, paste them then into TextPad, which is a really nice text editor for using these. Uh, I tend to use these for populating my directory websites, but do other uses for them or other tools you can import them into. So let's have a look at what we've got. Are we at the top bottom? Okay, uh, it does seem to put them in random order sometimes. So we've got some dog keywords, tallest dog. There's another one, tallest dog breeds. Uh, tallest cactus. Maybe you have a channel about tall things, tallest buildings, tallest actors, uh, ugly. So ugly is found lots of things for ugliest things. I don't know if I want to make a channel about that. Scroll down at uh, strangest, prettiest. Okay, we have enough keywords to make about a million YouTube channels here. So, what I would do with one of these keywords is go into YouTube, uh, for example, ugliest cars, and just see if there are many videos about it. So I'm going to copy this and just have a look, see what the competition is like. OK, so ugliest cars I'll put in and this is quite a big like niche in itself. So if you put in one of these long tail keywords, well, you find even other keywords here. So this is pretty good one to make a channel about. I think let's have a look, see what the search results are like. Uh, okay, so you see that this is basically just a clips uh, thing there, really easy to put together. I've been putting these types of videos together. Uh, 
it's had going on for half a million views so really really good um you can see that this is a really popular niche so don't overthink your niches on uh, youtube this one's had over 200,000 views that one's done very well as well okay less views on these but they are quite new uh, that's a good example of a thumbnail there uh, that will get a lot of clicks so that's doing well that's only a month old and it's probably be catching up you see this uh, thumbnail not quite so good but that's a topic for another video so kind of a good niche as uh, I don't any more so there aren't a huge number of videos I wouldn't worry too much about the competition in YouTube. It's kind of different from when you're blogging because uh, people, they will set up searches for things like this. So, I mean, somebody that likes ugly cars, well, they've probably seen all these already. So they'll be really delighted if you come along and make a video, especially if it's slightly different to the other ones. And uh, you can also see related keywords okay so i would definitely give keyword researcher a go if you want to find some really good youtube uh, niches um, i've used the tool for many years now it's always uh, worked for me and it's really found some good keywords by the way if you want some more adjectives then of course just look on google ah uh, list of adjectives um this one looks good so annoying annoying that would be a good one um let's see awful that's a tremendous one for youtube bad would be good as well beautiful uh brave maybe crowded maybe uh there's so many of them here famous famous people famous celebrities uh funny another tremendous one for youtube remember that people use youtube for entertainment purposes primarily so just don't overthink your niches uh dumb really well on youtube uh let's see uh mysterious that's one i've used already i think that's really good naughty that would be a good one so this should keep you going and you should find lots of youtube niches on here uh, I will link to this in the description below as well.